Hello, my name is Karen Fraser and I work at Westminster Adult Education Service teaching video editing with Final Cut Pro for beginners. Today I'm going to teach you all about creating and setting up your settings for a Final Cut Pro project. Right now we're going to have a look at the system settings or the project settings for this particular project. So if you want to find out what your project settings are for this current project, you want to highlight the timeline so it becomes light grey at the top. Go up to sequence and drop down to settings and we can here just have a look at the settings that have been produced for this project. We're currently using the frame size 720 by 576 which is typical for mini DV footage. So you want to creep it in PAL, DV PAL because that is the format used in this country and the pixel aspect ratio is again 720 by 576 PAL if you have a look at the options this is the one that is most suitable for us it's not HD footage we're looking at it's just PAL mini DV lower even field dominance the editing time base of 25 frames a second and the compression setting of DV PAL have a look at advanced, check you've got maximum quality you always want to work in the highest quality possible both capturing then in terms of the editing period and then in your output so click OK for that in terms of the audio you want 48 kilohertz 16 bit if you possibly can this is the highest quality audio setting that you can produce uh, and it be accurate and apt for mini DV if you have a look along here at the timeline options something here that you may wish to uh, check is the show audio waveforms box tick on this box and say OK and then you'll be able to see the audio waveform forming here on the uh, timeline and this allows you to do some accurate editing in terms of looking at your actual uh, waveform and then maybe selecting edit points to cut to. Uh, one thing to bear in mind is when you have the waveform visible on the timeline it actually takes quite a lot of processing power from the computer and so sometimes you do not wish this box to be checked. Timeline options we can take it off and then immediately it gets removed from the timeline and this will allow you especially if you've got multiple audio tracks to edit uh, with more speed because the computer may slow down a little when it's in use. Um, at the top here under Final Cut Pro you want to have a look at audio and video settings. Here at the moment for future projects uh, you've got sequence, preset, capture, device control, it's all set to NTSC at the moment. So in order to produce the correct settings for future projects you might wish to say oh, I'm going to be making all my projects within PAL I've only got mini DV at the moment so you go to PAL 48 kilohertz and so you start to set it up accordingly again PAL PAL this may not be allowed so we'll leave it at that and then it should correct to PAL shortly you look through the sequence presets select that that this have a look at that. Again, it's still saying NTSC because previous projects were worked on within NTSC footage. But for now, that should be sufficient. So whenever you're importing a project, make sure that both the audio video settings here and your uh, settings here are the same as much as possible. Click OK and everything should run smoothly. OK, thank you. I hope you've enjoyed learning about settings using Final Cut Pro and that you'll find it useful for your own projects.